At the end of this tutorial, we'll show you how to make an interesting liquid simulation, as you can see, play out over here in the render view. Uh, my PC sucks, you can see it glitching out a bit, but eventually it comes around as well. So if you've got a graphics card, you won't run into the issue I just ran into there. And if you want to see how this looks after rendered, keep in mind, if you've got a graphics card, you won't have the glitch that I ran into. Also, I recommend you render out individual images you also want to run into the same the issue I ran into but there you go let's uh, get to it first thing we do is delete the default cube press numpad 1 to get front orthographic view and then we press shift A and we're going to add a meta ball meta ball is that's perfect and if you know anything about meta ball settings you've got to the object data properties for the meta ball the lower the meters the higher the resolution so we probably want to make this is 0 0.0.1 0 .1, and when we render it out, we probably want it to be 0 0.001 if, if your PC can handle it. Uh, 0 0.001. Okay, that's as far as mine can go. And you can have an influence threshold and mess with this for a slightly different effect, but I'm going to leave it as is. Once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is let's create a new thing. So we're going to call this primary object our primary object is our M ball I'm going to create a new collection the new collection is going to be called uh, our effector well it's technically it's our particle system and we're going to press shift A and we're going to add a plane as our particle system and we're going to go to the particle settings we're going to add a particle system and we want to make the lifetime 250. We want to make it end at 250. And the other thing we want to do is make sure that the field weight for gravity is zero. And we'll mess with this later on. But that's pretty much it for now. So I'm quite happy with that. The next thing we want to do is press Shift A. Well, let's create a new collection. We're going to call this new collection path. And this is where we can have a little bit of fun. Shift A, curve. I'm going to use a path. Tab to go into edit mode. Select these elements here. And you can just kind of shape your own path that you think will look cool. Have fun with this. There's no real rush. Get a shape that you find interesting. Uh, there we go. And also don't forget to use proportional editing. Uh, once you're currently in front orthographic view, press numpad 7 for top orthographic view. Press G to scale this out. And let's make it go from side to side as well. So it's a three-dimensional object, not a two-dimensional object, if that makes sense. There we go. And press tab once you're done and you've got your interesting shape. And there we have it. I'm quite happy with that. Next thing we want to do is go to the physics properties over here, click on force field. You need to change the shape to curve, or else it won't work. You need to make the strength negative so it follows it. Negative 5 is pretty good, negative 10 will make it twice as fast. So think of it like that. And the flow needs to be set to 1. And now when we press enter, you'll just see normal particles flowing out here, which is quite nice. So it seems to be working quite nicely. It's got a nice effect. But now we're going to have to attach the metabores for it to look like liquid. But from the looks of things, we probably want to make this negative 10. And it flows a lot faster. It looks a lot more real. And it will probably reach the end now, which is great. OK, cool. We'll leave it like that. The next thing we want to do is select our particle system, the plane that we have here. If you go to our particle settings, and we want to change the halo to an object. And the object we want to use is an M-ball. And we, we've already set the M-ball settings, which is great. You could mess with the scale over here if you like. If you make this 0 0.1. Yeah, I quite like You can make it less if you prefer. It's all up to what preferences you like. But maybe make the randomness 1 and the scale 0 0.15. 
or just some will be really small, some will be really big, and will create a really interesting effect. The next thing you want to do is add a material to the metal ball, which is obviously the liquid material, which is uh, glass BSDF, and then just add a tint of blue, I guess. Um, tint of blue should look good. Oh, I'm doing it to the plane. Whoops. We need to do it to the metal ball. The plane, we can actually just remove that quickly. Click on the metal ball, click new. Change this to glass BSDF. Give it a slight look of blue and maybe make it a bit more less rough. 0.2 should be good. And then we have a nice little metal ball and this should look pretty good. So if we go back to the first frame and we watch this now, it should look super, super interesting. So it's, it's a very different effect to using Mantaflow, but uh, I quite like it. I mean, each thing has its use case, I guess. And uh, if we slowed this down, actually, it might actually look a lot nicer. So let's quickly just click on this and uh, change this to minus five again. And go back to frame one and see how it looks. And you kind of have to tweak with this, play around with it, see what you like. Nice little bits, but when, once they hit each other, they connect. It's an uh, interesting look. I, I honestly want to leave this in minus 10. But it's what happens when we make the flow 2. I'm going to put 0.5. Point is you can play around with this and see what you like. 0 0.5 is interesting. Okay, I found a winner. I quite like that look. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. The next thing you want to do is go to your render settings, click on ambient occlusion, bloom, and most importantly, screen space reflection. Then go to your lighting, and lighting will not be set right for render. So maybe make it sun 25, give it a hint of warmness. Let's look out, see how it looks. Maybe change the background color of the air. Let's make it a interesting blue try and make that pop a little bit and find a good render angle because you could move the camera around and stuff but let's keep it simple control alt numpad zero select the camera and just move it in place and there you have it once you've got a good angle and you're happy with everything, all you need to do is then click Render Animation. I'll show you, well, you've seen the end result already, so please don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers, man.